What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, specifically in today's episode, we have to continue looking at the major cryptocurrencies, which seemingly are retesting bottom supports yet again. But ideally, I am a strong believer that we are going to be headed to the upside, you know, fingers crossed. Now, as you guys can see on XRP, we just recently came outside of a rising wedge pattern, which is inherently Currently bullish in regards to textbook analysis. You can see the higher low, higher high pattern forming here, filling in the gap hitting the major resistance of the moving average on the daily, hitting bottom support, breaking through, and immediately causing a correction. Well, here we are double bottoming, retesting that bottom support, and hopefully we can reverse off that. Now, it goes beyond just XRP. You can see Ethereum is doing a similar pattern here within its descending fractal, correcting lower, and inevitably going to retest bottom support and hopefully break up and move to the upside on that. And yet again, besides Ethereum, we also have Bitcoin, which is probably the only cryptocurrency that actually looks uh, like it's doing something bullish here, even though these two cryptocurrencies are correcting. And I believe they're going to see some bullish momentum here. You know, Bitcoin is the only one that's actually starting to create these higher high patterns and ideally, hopefully going to continue to move to the upside here. And then lastly, we have the S&P 500, which had a big fall as of yesterday, something that honestly, I'm not too surprised about here. Here you can see we do have a bull flag formation. Here's the flag pole. Here's the actual flag itself. This lower, uh, lower high, lower low pattern here, hitting bottom supports consistently here. But inevitably, over the many days, we're going back to like the 10th of October. So we have nine days. We've had tons of consolidation where we were basically inside of the moving average, retesting the daily moving averages, bouncing off bottom supports, holding the line, and hopefully we'll be able to break outside of this descending fractal uh, before you guys know it. But with that all being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. So guys, as you can see yesterday's video, I talked about the fact that we're starting to see what appears to be another massive bull flag forming on, well, this is specifically the S&P 500. This graph that we used in yesterday's thumbnail is basically a reference to the S&P 500, which I still think is bullish. Ideally, October, November, and December, in my mind, are bullish months, and we should hopefully, if history repeats itself, continue to spiral to the upside. Now, on the current coin market cap, quick refresh reveals not much is really happening here. If anything, we're settling back down with Bitcoin trading flatlined out on support. You can see Ethereum kind of coming back down to where it started from. Same thing goes with BNB and XRP, and a lot of these major cryptocurrencies are pretty much kind of cooling off. We're in this kind of cool off period here and starting to head lower. Now, it's definitely uh, an interesting surprise with how things are moving here. The goal is we hang out above the supports that we've already kind of drawn drawn in on XRP and these other cryptos. But in the grand scheme of things, things to me look bullish here. We have a beautiful bull flag forming on uh, or formation on XRP. You can see the original one right here. We had quite a few. Here was the first one. We had the flag pull, this lower high, lower low movement here. Then we have a breakout. That's the first one. Second one, flag pull, lower high, lower low movement here. We have the confirmation and a breakout. This continues onto the third lower high, lower low pattern here, where the flag pull, lower high, lower low, confirmation, breakout. And here we are forming what appears in my mind like a fourth one. It's obviously more steep. And this was a lot of manipulation, some would say, but we are, I think this was the grayscale or there, I think it was something else with the uh, with the actual court case of XRP. Here's the lower high, lower low movement here, filling in the gap, confirmation break above this. And then we kind of saw a reversal to the upside in September. Nothing too crazy, but this was forming a rising wedge. But we did inevitably, you know, move from about, you know, we saw about a 15% correction to retest moving average here, which we clearly rejected off of and are pulling back down. Now the goal is jumping to the weekly here and hoping that we are able to break through this. This is the problem zone that we've had. We've been trying to catch up to it. We have. We've been rejected twice now in the past here. And here we are with a third retest actually breaking down from it. The goal is to get back above here and actually start to head up. Now, the first time we did it a couple of weeks ago here in July, a couple of months ago, um, or July, August, September, October. Yeah, a couple of months ago here, when we broke through this here, it was very sporadic and it wasn't going to last as we all figured here. And you can see we were becoming extremely overbought on XRP's weekly. So the immediate correction right after is by no means a surprise. Currently trading at 45 on the RSI, we are going to come back up, in my mind, to retest it here. It's been a support, this, this level that we're at currently. It's about 47 cents. 
we've retested it numerous occasions here. We've come back to rebound and retest the moving average with no luck. And hopefully, you know, the second time's the charm where we come back to retest it and we can break through it is then I can see an easy swing back up to about 62 cents. I'm still very bullish on these cryptos. I don't think XRP wants to jump lower. Is it possible? Of course it is. But ideally, that's not what I would suspect and expect to see happen here. Yes, this rising wedge is the ideal bearish correction that usually shows signs of a continued bear market here. But with us retesting off supports, I'm a pretty firm believer we are going to be bouncing off them and moving to the upside. Now, obviously, we take advantage of all these trades on BidFi, which is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. Um, as you guys know, I've said in the past here, uh, there are, there's a demo account on BidFi on the mobile app currently. There used to be on the desktop. They're still working on it. But in recent news, they just sent me a new rewards that you guys can you know take advantage of for free with the link down in the description. If you haven't already signed up to BidFi right here, you can grab about $200 in rewards by simply signing up with the link down in the description below and then getting the $100 coup or the $50 coupon and the $100 bonus. And then all you have to do is activate your futures account to get another $50 in bonus. So definitely make sure to check that out. That's $150 in bonus reward trading and a $50 coupon that can be applied to who knows what. So don't wait. Obviously start trading with a boost today. Make sure to check it out. The bid fight count is down in the description below. Now for those wondering, you know, if you've already signed up, well, I, hey, maybe I won't rewards. Well, click on welcome rewards right here and you can earn up to $2,888 by claiming your rewards here. You can see you have new user tasks, advanced tasks, exclusive tasks. So you guys can take it advantage of down in the description below by signing up. Now, moving forward, you can see going over to here, USDT, this is where we're able to leverage trade XRP, click XRP or type in XRP right here. And this brings up the actual charting to XRP where we can leverage trade this, which is really cool. Obviously we do have the trade or we have the charts open up here. It's an integrated trading view chart. You can buy long, you can sell short, you can leverage trade right here. You can even take profits create stop losses. The leveraging is right here. Everything you'd want within an exchange for leverage trading BidFi or XRP is offered on BidFi. So make sure to check them out down in the description. But moving forward from XRP, looking at these other cryptos, I likely think we are getting near the bottom soon. As you can see from the top, going back to April of 2023, we've now fallen about 27% on Ethereum here. So in my mind, we are due for a reversal. It's really just finding that bottom. You can see here, we've kind of drawn some sort of resistance, which is now intertwined within or intermingled with the moving average on the daily charts here. But ideally, we're looking to bounce probably off 1520, this blue band support here. And then I'd likely think it's going to be a reversal to retest moving average. And hopefully we can break through that because I'm yet again, a firm believer. We're going to be heading to the upside the rest of this year into 2024, maybe even into 2025. So I think these are going to be the lowest prices we've seen or we're going to see for a very long time. So expect and suspect to see a potential reversal. We just need to consolidate. Again, Ethereum's on the back burner for right now, as I think XRP and definitely Bitcoin are better opportunities to trade and make profits than Ethereum. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be leverage trading. Now, Bitcoin has looked good, really good over the past coming weeks here. Since September, we've been in this higher low daily chart moving average here, uh, or a uh, higher low movement you can see here on the daily charts. We did just recently break through moving average, so I'd like think we're going to continue this movement to the upside here. We're back inside the ascending fractal, which is definitely a good sign. And um, if we do decide to correct, we'll be back onto here and hopefully head up higher. You can see we have broken through that moving average, which is also a very solid level to be above if you ask me. Now, jumping to the weekly, you can kind of see what we're doing here and you can see why this moving average looks a bit better. Might actually be able to extend it a little bit here but it does look good overall. Honestly, I think it's something along the lines of this, how we originally had it here, but you can see the beautiful ascending fractal that's taking shape here. And ideally we are in the middle retesting this moving average on the weekly, which is what I'd like to see happen at XRP. XRP is having this problem trying to break through its weekly moving average here, uh, which I don't blame it. You know, it's been pretty much a terrible market for the past couple of months here. But ideally, Bitcoin is doing it as I speak. So the goal is that we do the same thing Bitcoin does on XRP, break through this moving average, start to trend back up. And then ideally, we will be swinging to the upside An easy $30,000 is in the very near future for Bitcoin and these other cryptos should definitely follow suit. And lastly, to wrap up today's video, looking at the S&P 500, I'm also a firm believer we're going to be heading up within the S&P 500. We're trading flatlined on 50 
you can see on the relative strength indicator, the moving average is slowly moving back up. We retested, we're able to hold ourselves and are starting to head back to the upside here, which is definitely a good sign if you ask me. We got real close, but we're actually breaking through it. And you can see there's a good chance we should be able to use this as a means to support this white band to hopefully head up higher. And that's truly what I think is gonna happen. And I think we'll be retesting uh, all time highs by maybe mid to end of 2024. It could be even earlier, to be honest. We could be seeing it by middle or earlier in 2024. But I think mid to end is, is a more conservative uh, approach to here. But you can see we are filling out this beautiful descending fractal here at lower high, lower low movements. And this inevitably inherently is uh, you know a bullish sign. So this does have a bullish outlook at the end of it. So ideally what we're looking for is a break up after we continue to consolidate. But with that all being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow's video. Peace.